Hey, it's Sean McBride, RMUS. We're uh, doing a Tech Connect video on the DJI U10 methane gas detector. So as far as methane goes, it's been uh, very critical as far as uh, leaks or anything else that might happen within a space. This can see natural gas as well. Uh, I did a test in my uh, kitchen to see how that would work, uh, just to see if the detector would actually pick up natural gas. So the two are very relatable, but we do have a tank of methane out in the uh, uh, field here that we're going to test against. But let me just show you a little bit around the camera and uh, or the actual sensor. So we do have full gimbal control up and down. I also have a spot laser up on the front here. So let me turn that just a little bit. I do have a laser that actually shoots. Um, Kind of hard to see as far as pointing the laser and, and seeing it real time, but overall we're able to uh, basically point that at something and see. And then what's really neat is up on the top is an actual 4K integrated camera in which I can take pictures live as well as do video. So overall, again, full gimbal control uh, and that use is actually pretty, pretty nifty when trying to control where you want to point the camera. Additionally, on top of this on the app, so it's got a special app that you run with this, uses an iPad, download the app, and that app actually communicates with the uh, sensor itself, the U10, and from here we can go ahead and do mapping with it. So there's an amount of mapping that is capable to go ahead and put in dots of PPM that the detector picks up, and then uh, hopefully you can find where the plume is moving along when we do that. But just for an initial detection, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick test, fly it up, see it and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this bird in the air and we'll go ahead and let our uh, tech out there, let him know to start the gas and uh, hopefully we get some pickups on this. So let's go ahead and get it in the air. I'm gonna go ahead and record video here and as well, there's an inspection portion that actually will tag the, the part of the uh, uh, picking up as the sensor picks up any gas whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get it in the air. And again, we're not doing any mapping with this one. We're just doing an initial gas detection. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Signal to our guy to let the gas out. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and see. I can see already that it's generating an amount of PPMs coming from that space. There's a little bit of a breeze here. And you can see the alarm popping up on a point. And from there, it will actually map that point on where it's coming from. So let's get a little bit closer. And we definitely see it generating detection. And with the plume, you know, you can kind of guess on what, what direction the wind is blowing depending on where the detection is as we move around. So very neat uh, as far as a sensor goes and uh, actually being able to be this far away, we're oh, close to uh, about 100 feet away from that. Uh, but I'd love to do it a mapping test a little bit later and we'll do another video on that to show a little bit of how that might work as far as the testing goes. So here again an initial test detection test which seems to be working really well and it will generate a report if you want to as well. So good to go. Uh, I think uh, overall this would be definitely helpful with a number of things. Uh, we definitely have a lot of uh, uh, utility companies out there that would be interested in such thing after any disaster to be able to fly and uh, put the put this sensor in the air um, it would be fantastic to go ahead and set up a methane gas detection and uh, kind of again map this out it is a fairly expensive sensor um, that is true and uh, the whole uh, development behind this one uh, it, it is fairly spendy to be able to uh, show this, but at the end of the day, the, those costs are, are cheap compared to any EPA fines or any type of explosions that might happen in any type of facility or factory. So uh, keep, uh, we'll keep you updated on the use of this actual sensor and as well uh, show you a couple more things uh, as far as features and capability.